Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today the question is, can AI actually design an airplane? Well, let's see. Um, AI, um, not just a picture, but a real 3D model you can turn into an SCL and actually build. Today I'm taking an AI generated airplane image, converting it into a 3D model and testing whether AI can really be used to design an airplane or it's just um, completely falls apart. As you know, you see AI tools everywhere right now, image generation, um, image to 3D, instant STL files. And a lot of people are asking, including myself, can I skip CAD entirely and let AI design my airplanes for me? Now, if you design RC aircraft, 3D printed parts, or work in Fusion 360, this is something you need to understand before wasting time and money. Now, the first thing, thing to do in uh, trying to get AI to uh, build you an airplane, you need to generate an image. So AI needs to generate an image of an airplane. And uh, this is where AI is actually really good at doing this. So um, what I've done, take a look here. I've asked AI here, generate a picture of an A350 Airbus, and it did it. Then I just wanted the Airbus itself instead of all the um, background stuff on it. And um, here's that. So that's pretty good at um, doing it. And um, you can get clean concept art, interesting proportions, even things that, um, things that look aerodynamic. But uh, here are the key things to remember. AI doesn't understand aerodynamics. It doesn't know what an airfoil is. It doesn't know where the center of gravity goes. And it definitely doesn't know how you're going to 3D print this. So, um, again, this, the plane looks really good. You know, AI um, generated this. So that's, that's really good. And now, once you have an image like this on screen, you need to use a, um, a generator to convert this image to an STL or a mesh. And uh, now this is where things um, start to get interesting and even a little scary when you think about it. And um, so what I've done is gone to Maker World and put this in the Maker World and converted this image, well, the previous image, into this. Now, this is a 3D printed, uh, excuse me, um, STL or a mesh file. This is. So this can be 3D printed now. Like I said, this is where things get a little scary where it actually took a picture and actually made this. And, you know, it looks decent. You know, at first glance, it looks decent, but um, everything is not that great on it. And that's where we had Infusion 360. You see here, this is... that and you can see the windows are bumps that stick out and they should be in and we can see the tail back here where it's trying to give you that image of that bird or whatever that is up on um, on here also and um, sticks out and things and we don't need any of that And you can see here it's um, all broken and everything. There's holes in here. And again, at first glance, this looks okay. Not great. Actually, not it, it, it's okay. And you can see the gear and stuff's not here. And uh, we can remove this bottom piece here if you want it to. But as you can see, it's 
the image to a 3D model right now, it's just not that great. I mean, it's better than nothing and it's decent, but is it, um, can you use it? No. Well, you can use it. You bring this into Fusion and you want it to make, let's say you want to make the shapes of this, um, this stuff in here. You can do that. You, you know, you come in here and then you go to your mesh tools and um, create and um, and select. And then now um, we have this shape here in the center. So if we turn the bodies off, we say we have this here. And then we could trace this and actually make this in Fusion 360 here. So it can be good to, to use this type of stuff, but it um, you know as far as the windows and getting very great detailed stuff, it um, you can't do that um, just yet. But for the general shapes that you need, this is a great way of doing things um, like this. And um, yeah, it's really good. Now, again, this is, um, I could actually work with this and make something, um, you know, airplane out of this. And you could too if you really want to. Now, um, one of the biggest misconceptions with AI design is that AI is not an engineer, it's not a CAT system, and it's definitely not a structural designer. If you tried to print, um, you know, and fly this SCLS, it would either fail during printing or fail immediately in the air. So this is not even airworthy um, what this um, actually is. Now, here's where AI actually becomes useful. Instead of using AI to create final geometry, use it to eliminate the blank page. Bring the AI image into Fusion 360 like we have um, done here. Well, not the, I brought the STL file here, but um, you can bring the image in and use the image for tracing of the files. Or like here, um, you brought in this model and I can make an um, actual model in Fusion 360 on this. And um, if you bring in the pictures to make the model from that as, you know, now you control the design, you choose the airfoil, you choose the fuselage thickness, and you decide where the structure goes and everything inside of it. And um, now again, you can sketch over the AI image and, um, and get your airplane. So the final verdict, so can AI design an airplane? No, but it can absolutely help you start one if you already understand CAD, aerodynamics, and RC aircraft design, AI can speed up your workflow. If you don't, AI will give you something that looks cool, but it, um, it won't fly and is not ready to fly without doing a whole lot of um, work involved um, with it. Now, if anybody is interested in the part two of this um, and want to see what I can do with one of these 3D models and stuff like that, excuse me, yeah, one of these uh, models, the image that has been converted into a 3D model like this here and see what I can actually do with this, um, leave a comment below and let me know um, if you want to see that. So, yeah, but again, you know, this is how I would actually do it. Just showed you guys that, how I um, got this here. And this is good enough to um, pretty much give me a, um, you know, a decent model here. Now, one thing I wouldn't do, as you can see here, these sides are not um, um, this side right here, and this is not um, the same looking. So I would only use half of this, the good half of this, and then just mirror this over um, to the other side. And um, so let's have another look at something here before we go. Now, I'm working on this T37 here, as you can see. And this looks pretty good. Now, I even asked AI. Um, this was that Airbus model.
Now, I even asked um, to do a T37 model from the image, and this is what it came up with. And as you can see here, I mean, it somewhat looks like um, a T33, but the engine here deducting everything is wrong. So let's go back here. And this was the request that I asked for with the T37. And you can see this is incorrect here on the T37. The rest of it looks um, okay through here. But then when we came here, it um, it give, gave a pretty good uh, rendition of this, of what it looks like. But as you can see, the engine, this is um, wrong. But we could 3D print this. As you can see here. And this is what it would look like. Now, if it had drawn this engine here correct in here, this would not be a bad model, bad looking model. But again, it's not perfect, the um, AI at this point in time. And again, this is something I could work with, this particular model. I mean, it's decent, again, versus actual, uh, um, you know, designing the model myself. So yeah, but anyway, it's something um, that you guys should play with. I would, um, if you have simple designs to do and you don't really feel like working with CAD or Fusion 360 here, I would um, go ahead and ask AI to give me an image and then um, go to another software to convert that into a 3D model if it's something simple. But when you get more complex shapes, things start to get a little strange and uh, wonky and everything. And right now it just can't handle um, making highly detailed models with complex shapes, but simple things, yes. So anyway, that's going to do it for this video. And uh, hit that subscribe button and that like button as well. I also invite you to join my Facebook um, group and my Patreon site. Both are called Cad Bill Fly RC. And if you can, become a paid member on my um, Patreon site. It's only $5 a month. You don't have access to all the files I show you guys um, how to model on my YouTube channel here. Or if it's not available there, I will let you know. And um, so, yeah. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. And I will catch you in the next one. Subscribe for more.